Hi guys, my name is Mohammed, and today we will be starting a beginner level series on Win32 APIs. For those of you who already know what they are, you can go ahead and skip this video because in the first video I will be talking about what they are and what they do. Win32 APIs, or some people also refer them with unmanaged code, which pretty much means that it was written in C++ and C environment. They are just a bunch of functions and methods that are already built into the operating system. They're very powerful and you can do a lot with them and trust me once once you understand how they work the world is yours trust me you can do a lot uh, once you know how they work um, so the way the API works uh, is that everything every control in the operating system can be considered as a window so every control in the operating system is a window which means <sighs> which means this search this uh, search bar is a window this x icon is a window this maximize button uh, is a window this minimize button is a window this title bar is a window um this text area where we put our text in this is a window um these buttons that appear they are windows and so in order to interact with these controls say when uh, so say uh, in in visual studios you're creating a program that will interact with the save button in order to interact with these controls you need to get a handler handlers are something that uniquely identifies a control in a window just like uh, in windows forms when you put buttons or labels you name them to access them in code behind so it's pretty much the same idea here they just uniquely identifies each control in the window and in order to interact with them you need to get a handler so 90% of the time when we're working with the API's we need to get the handler some of the programs that we will be doing along the series uh, I'll be teaching you how to monitor people's conversations how to create key loggers but that will obviously only be for educational purposes and um, some other examples I can give you you can if you want to automate something or if you want to create a macro you can uh, you can uh, you can work with win32 APIs and that will help you automate any program uh, you can do a lot and we will we will create a lot of meaningful programs along the series uh, for now so that's uh, what the introduction is about. We will go to MSDN quite often uh, to search uh, what the function is and what the parameters are. And uh, and I'll, I'll, we'll also go to pinvoke. pinvoke is a website that, uh, it's an open source website. And uh, what people who, those people who have already worked with Win32 APIs before they come to this website um, and they share their knowledge. A lot of the examples on the internet uh, are in C++ or C. Uh, and the examples of, of Win32 APIs in .NET platform are very limited, or if they are there, they are pretty much scattered all over. So what people do is they come to this website and then they, if, if they know something new in .NET uh, about a particular function, they just go ahead and they contribute that function to this website so other people can go ahead and benefit from it. So we will visit pinvoke uh, quite often to check the signatures of methods and functions. Uh, but personally, I I would really recommend you guys go ahead and download this tool, which is called Win32 API Viewer. And what this tool is that it has about six thousand functions already loaded into its database. So. I don't have to go to p invoke every time to search for a particular function because those functions are already loaded into this program so I can just search for a particular function in this program it and it will give me uh, it will give me the syntax of that program uh, in vb.net or in C sharp depends on uh, whichever uh, whichever uh, language you are working uh, whichever language you're working with uh so yeah just go ahead and download this we'll just go ahead and install it another th another th thing that i really like about this program is that it has about like 55000 constants and when i was learning the apis i had a very hard time searching the constants on the net uh what the co i will be teaching what the constants are uh, along the series so for now just follow along uh, just keep everything to the defaults hit next next create a desktop icon no because I don't like extra icons on my desktop so just go ahead and install it we'll close this out Hit next next finish delete it because like I said I don't 
like my desktop to be crowded. Ooh, we'll just pin this. So pin this to your taskbar. So open the API. Okay, okay. File. Actually, close this out. Go file options in Microsoft Visual VB uh, .net. I will be teaching the controller in VB .net. Uh, for those uh, people who, who who are C sharp programmers, I'm a C sharp programmer too. But uh, I mean, trust me, it's the only difference is the syntax. But if you still need help, you can always email me, and I'll help. I'll help you out. That's pretty much it for now. We will in the next video. We will start with the new function called Find Window, and we will start coding. And I believe that's all for the introduction. Um, so I will see you in the next video. So stay tuned.